In today's lesson, we're not actually learning any new material, but what we're doing is we're trying to solve logic problems, I guess you could call them, by drawing diagrams to answer the question. All right, so here's my example. In Reasonville, many states are named, streets, I'm sorry, are named after famous mathematicians. Streets that end in an S run east-west. All other streets might run either way. Wild Street runs perpendicular to Germain. Fermat Street runs parallel to Germain. So which direction does Fermat Street run? All right, so a couple of important pieces of information. So first of all, the streets that end in an S run east-west. The others could go any other way. All right, the first bit of specifics we get is that Wild Street runs perpendicular to Germain. So we know perpendicular means that they intersect at a right angle. So I know I'm going to have two roads that intersect at a right angle. One of them has to be Wiles, one of them has to be Germain. So because of my red underlined information there, streets that end in an S run east to west, that means that Wiles Street must run east west. So the perpendicular road then has to be Germain. Okay, now our next bit of information says that Fermat Street runs parallel to Germain. So Fermat Street is going to sit like this, as we know parallel looks like that. So then Fermat Street sits right here in the green. So therefore, which way does Fermat Street run? It runs north-south. So your problems for today are going to be, your answers are going to be very straightforward. Yes, no, it'll be a number. So the answers are very short, but what we're lo really looking for is the drawing or the sketch to support your answer.